Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your May 2016 reading. Five cards are drawn for you. First card up, Five of Cups. Uh, May will find many of you Scorpios um, in a state of bereavement over a loss, whether this is an emotional loss, whether it's an actual physical loss, uh, whether it's an emotional loss, whether it's a loss that encompasses your life on some other level through um, a loss of employment, through a loss of an opportunity, through a loss of a friendship, uh, through a loss of property. But many of you Scorpios are going to be um, in a state of bereavement uh, for something. Um, also, as always, and this is so cliche and it's so traditional, there's, there's usually, no matter what deck you find the Five of Cups in, see behind the figure, there's always two cups that are left standing. Traditionally, you will never see all five cups tipped. And this is always supposed to impose upon us the fact that even though something is lost, something will be gained. Even though something is lost, we get over it and we're able to move on and it gets easier to bear. Uh, some of you Scorpios also might be bringing something on yourself. You're, you, um, uh, it, this is one of those uh, feelings like you are your own worst enemy. So whatever it is that is causing you to be unhappy in your life, and because this is a general reading and there are so many of you, uh, it's endless possibilities. But whatever is causing you to be unhappy in your life, um, if you are avoiding something you need to face, if you're, if you're, involved in something you need to avoid, whichever way it is, whatever it is, on whatever level it is, you have to figure it out and there are certain means and ways that we can control that aspect of our life. We do have control over that. Um, we're not just set out here in the universe with rolling along like a tumbleweed with, with no control of where we're going, what we do, or how we wind up. Okay, card number two, starting out very heavy for Scorpio. Uh, Queen of Wands reversed. Female energy. This female energy is, um, um, she's, she's so in control. She is, um, she's good at um, uh, personality, uh, in control, wants to be in control. Uh, she demands respect. She's very good at taking care of business. Um, she's that kind of an individual. Uh, connected to the element of fire. I'm also getting um, autumn time when the sunflowers are blossoming, like like mid-August to the end of September. This is going to be a very pivotal time for some of you uh, Scorpios. It's some aspect of your life. Uh, something is going to be highlighted. Um, something is going to culminate. Um, something is going to be finished up. Something is going to uh, transpire something that is relevant to you and your life and your path and your choices and um, where you will wind up and how you will be. Uh, fire is often called the great destroyer. Through magical practices, um, fire is believed to clear to clear out debris, to clear out um, uh, trash, to clear out the weeds, to clear out um, the old, to clear out so that there can be new growth. So it, it levels the ground so that there's new growth. And this is kind of an analogy for life. Wow. Card number three for Scorpio. Queen of Swords, another queen. Um, as the previous queen was like the great controller, calm, quiet, in control, and organizer, this also is a very quiet woman as a personality, uh, intellectual, um, sharp-tongued, usually very solitary, uh, rigid, very hard to penetrate. Her, her coldness is, is a shield to prevent her from being hurt. She doesn't like people to get too close. So you have two very cool female figures uh, coming up here, whether you are finding yourself between them, whether one of them is you, or whether you recognize them as individuals around you. They're like opposing forces, and yet they're also like similar sentinels. Um, it's kind of, a, kind, of a, kind of a very strong, solid, immovable, um, unforgivable energy. This all sounds kind of ominous, doesn't it? Ah, Princess of Cups. 
Uh, princesses uh, in this deck, the Spiral Tarot, and pages are messengers. Uh, the Princess of Cups brings messages of relationships, um, uh, love interests, new romance, uh, new possibilities for relationships, new connections. She's also connected to the element of water in your intuition, your dreams. Um, sudden realizations, um, um, sudden dawnings, um, epiphanies. A lot of you Scorpios will experience epiphanies um, within the coming um, month to the next moon phase. <clears throat> uh, for some of you Scorpios too, I'm also getting a very solitary uh, feeling and, and a very solitary feeling as an individual who marches to the tune of their own drummer someone who marches to the tune of their own drummer sometimes they look behind them and they are marching all alone because they're so unique their path is so um, um, so attuned to their personality and their their whims and their way of life that it's hard for other people to follow them so um and and scorpios many of you you are very individualistic and you march to the tune of your own drummer and a lot of you are are very strong in the face of of uh criticism you don't really give a damn and you will do what you want to do regardless of other opinions you are one of the one of the um hardest shelled of all the signs you can take a lot of criticism because you just don't give a crap and you're very strong and you're very able to let it roll off your back the last card for scorpio and i'm still thinking about those two queens um such strong female energy one on each side um okay we're gonna see card number five for scorpio five of swords reversed uh, the battle may be over, the battle may be lost in its reverse state. Five of Swords is a card of um, a conflict. Uh, it's a conflict where, where even the winner isn't always the winner. It's like you win, but at a price. It's like you want to, uh, you want to check and guard um, what issues in life that you want to confront and control. Pick and choose your fights. This card is always a warning that we can't take on every criticism. We can't take on every affront, every um, slight. We have to pick and choose our battles because otherwise we will drain ourselves. So uh, pick and choose your fights, Scorpio. Uh, also, whoever, whoever uh, be between the two uh, queens that are brought up, somebody's going to need a lot of strength. There is a lot of um, communication. There is um, certain conflicts coming up. And it very well may be connected with our very first card for this reading, the Five of Cups, and whatever it was that was lost. Uh, this is a very unusual reading for Scorpio, and I'm not even quite sure where this energy is leading to in the end, but I'm betting that you'll find out, Scorpio, and that's where I'm going to end this reading for May 2016.